Hello. Welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I am Angelia Joy. Thank you for joining me. The choices for the individualized oracle offering create love grace. Today we will be calling on the Ascended Master's Oracle through Doreen Virtue as well as asking for supporting messages through the Psychic Tarot Oracle as offered by John Holland. At this time I'll open with the invocation. You can if you'd like set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready and willing to understand. And so it is. Thank you. And for the Psychic Tarot Oracle. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready and willing to understand. And so it is. will begin, create. With Horus, you are seeing the situation accurately. Trust your feelings about this situation because they are accurate and valid. Let go of self-doubt, even in the face of others' opinions. Your spiritual sensitivity has helped you see the truth. Although it may be easier to go along with the crowd or to shrink into apathy, you're called upon to take decisive action. You already know what to do. Even if people aren't supporting you, know that spirit is. Other people will come around to see your point of view. In the meantime, assume a leadership role. And the psychic tarot supporting this. is number six of the Major Arcana, Harmony. As recorded by John Holland, this card signifies the possibility that a deep spiritual initiation, partnership, or union is taking place at this time or is manifesting for the future. This doesn't always necessarily represent a love affair of the heart, but could signify other forms of relationships in your life, whether they're personal or business-related. Remember, not all relationships have to be one-on-one. -on -one. They can be forged with a group, an organization, a pet, or even an incident or situation. The Harmony card is calling to let you know it's time for you to make choices in certain relationships. The bonds you form with others are really about you. Even in the most difficult situations, they're meant to be mirrors for you, always reflecting back what you need to see. Ask yourself, what am I learning from this relationship? What new qualities am I developing? Is this partnership for my highest good? 
How can I make it stronger? Are we teaching each other? What have I discovered or am still uncovering about myself through this union? Are the people in my life empowering and encouraging me to be all that I can be? Within every relationship, there's an encoded lesson that you've hopefully gleaned, or in some cases, one that you still need to learn. And here, in the love position, we have Yes with Ganesh. All doorways are open for you, and the pathway is clear. Any previous obstacles have been removed. Keep a positive mindset about the situation to ensure a positive outcome. And the tarot supporting this is the Eight of Spirit with Accelerated Motion. This card represents speed, flight, swift movement, hope, passion, and above all, endings to delays. The conditions around you are perfect and appear to be rapidly heading in the direction of your goals and desires. Luck is on your side and your enthusiasm is at an all-time high. Brace yourself as you finally witness the manifestation of what you've worked for and visualize. This is a call for initiative, but you could also ask yourself, is there anything else in my life that I need to act on now? Be wise and take advantage of these ideal conditions. Now isn't the time for you to fight against the river of life. Trust, have faith, go with the flow. This current is taking you to a positive outcome and future. And the Ascended Master offering the grace. <laughs> Had a feeling he'd show up. Toth right. You drew this card as a concrete reminder to write. You've been receiving lots of signals and feelings to write lately. So let this card be the message that leads you to take action. Get out a pad of paper or your laptop computer and begin writing. Don't worry about punctuation, grammar, or spelling, as you can take care of those details later. But for now, just express your thoughts and feelings as they flow into your mind and body. And the Psychic Tarot Oracle supporting this is Patience, number 14. The train agrees in the background. This card signifies the need for patience self-control, adjustment, moderation, and balance when dealing with others, as well as yourself. This could be in areas of how you think and work, how you handle school, recreation, the people in your life, or the spiritual path that's been set before you. As a soul, you have more than one aspect of yourself to draw on for support. It's all about integration and learning to blend and balance both the physical and the spiritual. You're an ethereal being in a physical body, enjoying a human experience. Therefore, since you're both, you should honor all of you. If you go through life denying yourself the joy of combining these aspects, 
you're missing out on so much of what the world has to offer. Why accept the life that's half lived? The patience card reminds you to open your heart and mind and allow yourself to listen to other people's ideas, thoughts, and perspectives. Blissful harmony can be achieved when everyone learns to work as one. All benefit. Listening, sharing, and reaching out will help you renew your faith in yourself and humankind. You'll become more aware of the miracles around you as well as the ones that you have a hand in creating. There's a lot of personal strength abounding today. Trust you, what you feel drawn to, what you feel uh, invigorated by, enlightened by, illuminated by. Trust you. Thank you for joining me. Be well in your weekend, and I will join you again tomorrow.